Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I thought I'd do a video with some real gardening today. I think one of the things people like about my channel is that I keep it real and I'm going to show you something here that's just I'm so I'm so upset. So, you know, like a lot of you, I left the house at 7 o'clock in the morning. I got home at 6 o'clock and uh, came out to the garden to see what needed to be done. And in the middle of all these mosquitoes and black flies and horse flies and deer flies, I got a catastrophe with my peas and I got to deal with it. And I don't even know if what I'm going to do is going to fix it. It's like a 50-50 sort of thing. Anyway, step one is dealing with these flies so I can actually focus on what I'm doing without going completely out of my mind. So I thought I'd just show you this because it's kind of funny. And this is what I have to do to work in the garden. Uh, you know, when it's when the flies are this bad. I'd rather be out of here at like 5 a.m. that sort of thing But uh, anyway, I got to deal with this tonight because this is the time I have to deal with it uh, And I should be wearing a long sleeve shirt, but it's like uh, 27 degrees 37 with the humidex. It's a bit humid. It's a bit hot. So uh, step one Completely Toxify yourself. I got to step away so I don't get the stuff in the camera. I got uh, just off family care I find I've used a lot of different things in my garden and uh, this one's pretty good in terms of uh, not that as bug repellents go not that toxic I find it's good to spray like your hat and your face and everything but then just to go the extra mile I just realized I don't have my microphone on let me deal with that Hopefully the audio is adequate. There we go, this is going to be a lot better. Uh, just to go the extra mile, you take a rag, white. Always wear white when the flies are bad. I don't know why, but the color black is like nothing draws flies around like the color black. I got a white rag here. Put that on like this. Keeps them out of your ears and stuff like that. And another dose. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's go deal with this. Let me show you what's going on here. So I got peas climbing up this trellis. And as you can see, at regular intervals, I've used twine to pull them into the mesh here. You can see I did it down here. Um, and I did it one lower, I think. Anyway, these peas have grown really quickly, really fast. And you can see this side looks fine. But I must have had a gust of wind come in here today because these looked fine yesterday. And it only takes one gust of wind to do this. But look, I had them blow down here. You can see they're all blown over and broken. Right now, the stalks might be, might have enough health in them to supply water. And nutrients because I mean the peas have just just barely started to produce this is the beginning right I mean they barely started uh, so I've tied up this end here you can see this is where the brakes are down here right so I've tied this up and I gotta weave more of this twine in to give it strength but now I got to do this part so I thought I'd just film it Everything is just so much more complicated when you're dealing with flies. But I mean, what a, what a, what a shame. So, I mean, the only way to deal with this is that at regular intervals, you tie it back into the, you tie it back into the uh, mesh and you got to put a string about, about every foot really which is not what I've been doing. You know, every foot of growth you have to reinforce. You know, I mean, ideally the peas should grab, right, because they have that ability. But they, you know, I think I just did a podcast about this. The plants don't always do what you want, <laughs> right? They're just doing what they want, right? Plants aren't always on board with what you want. I mean, I don't think the plant, the plant's just not strong enough. You know, and if it's got enough uh, of its tendrils attached, then yes, it will hang on just fine. Here's one I missed. 
See if I can weave that guy up. A couple stragglers here I missed. Oh, I'm just breaking them all to pieces. This is just a tragedy. A tragedy of epic proportions. And it all could have been avoided if I just come out here a couple nights ago and added another tier of twine. I'll put another one here. I'm not using anything fancy in terms of knots. All right, just simple overhand knots. And every, every foot or so just, ah, oh no. Every foot or so just weaving it back through the, through the mesh. There you go. I mean, some of this garden work ain't, ain't pretty. It just is what it is. Right. I like to show everything beautiful and finished and looking great, um, but sometimes this is the stuff that happens off camera. I don't always film this stuff because it's it's just uh, you know when you got flies and you're trying to get stuff done and the sun's setting, you know, and I don't have a cameraman or anything like that, so uh, sometimes it's just. It just adds a layer of complexity to tasks to try to film everything. Um, someday, you know, I'll be retired. And then assuming I'm still able to do all of this, I can film every little part of it, which is what I'd like to do. Because I think some of the stuff you, you kind of need to see, how people deal with stuff, right? I also just understand that it's part of gardening and, you know, hopefully these plants can recover from being uh, smashed so bad. And there's another one I missed. Oh, and it's just bent, bruised. And, I mean, this plant is just destroyed. I don't know if it can survive this. I mean, there's gonna be people that say, oh, it'll be fine, but the reality is you never really know if your plants are gonna be fine. Lots of people will say, oh, that'll be fine. It'll just deal with it. It's not always the case. There's always a degree of, of anxiety, right? Did I wreck everything? Did I ruin 50% of my 2023 pea harvest by being lazy for one night? <laughs> right, is that, is that what just happened? Now let's do the other side. You can see I already got a nice, nice lean here, right? right? It's leaning off pretty good. So one gust of wind coming from the other direction will blow all this down because I mean it's it's hanging on to some extent, but I've always found that that peas just don't um, they just don't always cooperate uh, with with your plans. They just don't always have the the stiffness. And I mean this is a combination of what peas are capable of and the kind of winds we can have here. Everybody thinks they have the strongest winds in the world. I know we don't, probably don't have the strongest winds in the world here, but you know, Nova Scotia is surrounded by the ocean. And I live pretty close. I mean, no one in Nova Scotia is any more than a 30 minute drive from the ocean. So, I mean, everyone's close to the ocean in that sense. But, uh, yeah, it's the North Atlantic Ocean, so, you know, it gets, for those that don't know it, it gets a little windy sometimes. Boy, these are just beaten to pieces. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe it's this bad. I normally, I'm, you can see I'm doing all these weird, dangerous things with the knife. I normally hold this in my mouth. Another reason I don't film this stuff, you know, or I'd have a neck knife, but I mean, I was just... Out in the garden, I noticed this needed to be done. I don't feel like doing it tonight, and I sure as hell don't want to. Don't feel like being around these horse flies and deer flies and stuff. Um, but uh, it just has to be has to be addressed. So now the initial shock of the bug repellent is worn off, at least for the <laughs> deer flies that are 
landing on my head. And I know everybody's got some cockamamie solution for horse flies and deer flies that they read on the internet. But when they're bad, <laughs> when they're this bad, you know, trust me from a guy who's been around this stuff for years, when they're this bad, none of this stuff works. The solution for me is to be in your garden in the a.m. And I'd rather do this tomorrow morning, but it just needs to be dealt with now. Because I'm not going to have time tomorrow to deal with it. I have to deal with it now. So, it's a little bit of real gardening on a, on a Thursday night. <laughs> I get a good idea. These flies are driving me crazy. But I just wanted to show you that if you're growing peas, you know, rope them in. Right? put rope around them to pull them into your trellis. Because, I mean, sometimes, depending on where you live, they might just grab the phyllis, uh, phyllis. They might just grab the trellis and, and be fine. I gotta put this knife down, I'm gonna stab myself. They might just grab the trellis and be fine. Holy smokes. But um, if it's windy, <laughs> a good gust can come along and just rip them right off your, your trellis and break them. And they, you know, gently bring them back, tie them up. They might recover from that, or they might just uh, die. <laughs> or they might recover, but not be what they could have been in the first place, right? They might be 70% of what they could have been. You just never know these things, right? Anyway, I've done what I can here. I'll know in a few days if, if what I did is gonna help, um, but I gotta get out of this garden tonight. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> The flies are so bad. So it's about a two and a half days later. I filmed this on a Thursday evening and now it's a Sunday morning afterwards. And we've had a couple hot days yesterday. It was really sunny and about 30 Celsius, so quite hot for where I am. And it looks like the peas have recovered. Right, you can see these ones were bent right over. These are the ones I, I, or I put back up in the video. You can see the leaves have are not deflated. Right, the plant looks like it's still still going <laughs> I'm sure it's not you know 100% but if it continues it to go at about 80% I'm happy with that um, yeah they look okay and they look they, you know after two days of hot weather and a lot of Sun uh, they you, you'd know if it didn't work so I'm gonna say success <laughs> so uh, yeah that's what you do if you're if you've been lazy and you're peas aren't really attached to your trellis properly and they're flopped over um, bring them back up and uh, and next time <laughs> be a little more proactive and every time they go up a foot add some of this twine to hold them in place hope you found that interesting if you did please like share subscribe <laughs> and until, until next time get out there get at it have fun in your garden thanks for watching Hey, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here, go to Vessies.com to buy whatever you need for your garden this year. And use my coupon code GAVS23 to get free shipping as long as there's a pack of seeds in the order and there's no oversized items in the order. Check out the description box of this video for details. You can buy everything you need from Vessies. They have seeds, fruit bushes and trees, soil amendments, pest solutions, tools, clothing and lots of other stuff too. So yeah, if you want to help support everything I'm doing here and they sell something you need, buy from them using my coupon code and happy gardening.